Hello people, in this video we want to look at gout. We are looking at it in an orthopedics perspective. So people can come to you with this kind of swelling, especially in the foot between the metatarsal and the phalangeal joint, MP joint. So you can see here that there is a swelling. This is because of deposit of uric acid crystals. Okay. So what is depositing here? Uric acid, <coughs> sodium biurate to be very specific. It is the crystals, sodium biurate crystals that are depositing here. Why, from where is this so much excess uric acid coming? It is coming because there is impaired excretion of uric acid by the kidney. So the kidneys are not working properly or there is problem in um, uh, purine metabolism. So what is happening? Excess uric acid is getting produced. So you can understand, right? So there is excess production of uric acid or there is impaired excretion of uric acid. So what happens? Uric acid levels will increase, increase, increase. And what are these uric acid levels going to do? They are going to come and deposit in your soft tissues. Okay. And um, okay, let's uh, focus again here. Sodium biurate crystals will uh, uh, accumulate where? In the soft tissue. And where will they deposit? They will deposit in the, which type of tissue? They are saying cartilage, tendon and bursa. Okay, so here it looks like it is uh, depositing in the joint actually, right? So there is a swollen and inflamed joint. There is mass of uric acid that is tophi, uric acid crystals, okay? So wherein all they are de depositing joints, cartilage, tendon, bursa, all of these, it will get deposited. Let us look at this purine metabolism. So what is happening? Purine synthesis, purine breakdown. So it is kind of breaking down and forming again, right? So this is the salvage synthesis. So you can see here purines are here. Where are the purines? Uh, have you spotted them? The purines are here. Okay. Now they are break, broken down. They are saying. And what is coming? Hypoxanthine and guanine. Hypoxanthine and guanine. Okay. Now this hypoxanthine and guanine again converting into what? Xanthine. And the xanthine is converting into uric acid. So if this is excess breakdown, what will happen? You'll have a lot of xanthine and then a lot of uric acid which will accumulate uh, in your body. Actually, the kidney is supposed to excrete it in the urine. However, let us say it is so much that the kidney can't excrete or the kidney itself has some problem. So there will be a lot of accumulation of what, of what, of what, uric acid, uric acid, uric acid. Coming from where? From this purine breakdown, hypoxanthine, guanine, xanthine, xanthine oxidase is the enzyme that is converting uh, xanthine into uric acid. So you have to write this in the exam guys. Xanthine oxidase, xanthine to uric acid. So uh, the treatment actually comes here where you will give this allopurinol which will inhibit this xanthine oxidase. Okay, So that is why this is very important for you to understand. The treatment is also here only uh, where you will give allopurinol. Allopurinol will stop this xanthine oxidase so that there is no formation of uric acid. So you should know this uh, table, I mean this flow chart. Okay. Now let us uh, proceed further. So how will the uh, presenting features be, clinical features? So a uh, patient will be beyond 40 years of age and he will come with arthritis, bursitis or tophi. Arthritis of the MP joint of the big toe is very, very favorite site for gout. This will be acute in onset, severe in pain. So sudden pain in this uh, joint, imagine acute in pain, severe in onset, no trauma, nothing, nothing, right? Bursitis, uh, olecranon bursa, that is uh, your elbow joint, right? Behind your elbow joint. That is also one more favorite site for olecranon bursitis. So this is also called a student's elbow, right? The olecranon bursitis because they are keeping their elbow always on the table. But it can also be because of gout, okay? Then coming to tophi. Tophi is nothing but uric acid crystal deposit. So that's what they showed you that there can be uric acid crystal deposit. That will be called as tophi, okay? So how will you diagnose? So you can uh, aspirate this content uh, from the joint or bursa and you will be able to detect what? What will you be able to detect? Urate crystals. Very good. And uh, in the blood, what will you see? High uric acid levels. Anybody will say this, isn't it? High uric acid levels will be there in the blood. And when you aspirate from the joint or bursa, whichever is inflamed, you will be able to uh, de demonstrate uh, urate crystals. Very good. How will you treat this? A treatment is uh, you will give for pain relief, just NSAIDs. This is for acute gout, there's different treatment. For chronic gout, there's different treatment. Uricose uric drugs like um, uh, probinacid acid, right? Probinacid. Then coming to uric acid inhibitors, you have um, allopurinol. Let's look at the details. Just one point you notice here, guys. Whoever has this um, lish nyhan syndrome, they will have accumulation of PRPP. Okay, so they will have this gout, Lishnaihan syndrome. 
they are saying it's more like gout let's check okay uh, so lishnahan syndrome they will have uh, a problem with this purine metabolism and they will have like gout okay now let us look at the treatment of gout so anti gout drugs guys for acute gout you can give nsaids colchicine and uh, glucocorticoids okay and uh, only for chronic gout they are talking about uricosuric drugs like uh, probenecid and uh, synthesis inhibitors like allopurinol so all these uh, high fi drugs like probenecid and allopurinol they are talking only for chronic uh, gout for uh, acute gout here they are only talking about nsaids colchicine and steroids look at nsaids um, indomethacin and diclofenac okay these are the examples indomethacin and diclofenac okay so what are the examples of the nsaids indomethacin diclofenac then the other drug is colchicine and then steroids for uh, for chronic drug they are giving probenecid and uh, allopurinol okay so let us look at acute uh, gouty uh, arthritis uh, nsaids indomethacin diclofenac then um, what else did they say colchicine right colchicine is the fastest acting drug they are saying but it's only used to suppress the gouty inflammation not other inflammation looks like and colchicine can lead to toxicity so be careful with it it's fastest though okay then coming to corticosteroids like triamcinolone so let's write this here triamcinolone amcinolone we have added the name here triamcinolone okay then coming to chronic drug uh, con sorry chronic gout or hyperuricemia or gouty arthritis that's what they're calling it as you'll give probenecid probenecid should be taken with lot of water remember so basically it will help in uric acid excretion in the urine so what it is doing is it will stop this oatp and it will uh, it will uh, stop the uh, absorption reabsorption of uric acid from urine so what will happen uric acid will go out in the urine what is this oatp organic anion transporting polypeptide if you want you can remember but anyways what it does is this probenecid it will ask uric acid to get out of the body okay then coming to allopurinol we already showed you this in the uh, purine uh, metabolism allopurinol will um, basically stop this uh, enzyme xanthine oxidase so xanthine will not get converted into uh, uric acid okay so you remember that which we saw so you will give allopurinol it will stop the xanthine oxidase so xanthine will not get converted to uric acid so you will have less of uric acid uh, the allopurinol has some strange mechanism of working it is a suicide inhibitor it inhibits its own self it inhibits its own metabolism crazy right so that is allopurinol <coughs> again the xanthine and hypoxanthine which will accumulate there will be removed by the urine easily okay because they are water soluble so no more uric acid problem fine what else we want to look at now adverse effects nothing much looks like hypersensitivity just a few points let's add here the normal plasma urate level is 2 to 6 mg per deciliter and how will the patient present some more things when you see that at the joint the ph will be reduced okay because it is acidic is it uric acid then joint destruction can be there and uh, one more point here is uh, gout can also be caused by hyperuricemic drugs like uh, thiazide furosemide etc and even uh, by leukemia there can be gout okay so that is uh, another extra point that we added now so this is all about gout see you in the next video bye bye